if your cycle is stretching longer than 35 days, the first thing to note that this usually means you're not ovulating regularly. Ovulation is delayed. A healthy cycle falls between 26 and 34 days maybe. So when it goes past 35, we need to look a bit deeper. The big things to check are whether you're dealing with insulin resistance, which is very common in PCOS and can push ovulation later. It's something a lot of my members in my fertility circle actually struggle with. Also thyroid function, because an underactive thyroid can drag cycles out. Prolactin levels, because high prolactin can block ovulation and over hormonal balance between estrogen and progesterone. Now stress, inflammation and nutrient deficiencies can also lengthen the cycle because your body doesn't feel safe enough to release an egg. Sometimes you still get a period without ovulating and that's called an anovulatory cycle which makes it even harder to conceive because if you don't ovulate you can't get pregnant. And that's why if your cycles are regularly running past 35 days, it's not just an inconvenience, it's actually a sign your hormones need really attention. Don't wait to fix it until you want to become a mother. It's so much easier if you start early. And this is where my fertility circle comes in. I'll help you investigate what's behind those long cycles, run through what to test and guide you step by step to bring your cycle back into balance. So conception actually becomes possible when you're ready.